you are doing all the work. You ungrateful little twit. I just about had enough of you. Your attention, please. Select exits prior to leaving the spaceport. Passengers requiring assistance should visit the nearest spaceport information kiosk. Thank you. <laughs> I forgot to check that last bag. Oh, well, I'm sure it's fine. Hello, people. Hello. We're not here to change the world. <laughs> but I am here to tell you that droids are not permitted in checked baggage. Thank you. Cool. Unfortunately, that one is one of 5,000. Not that way, we'll end up getting a great view. Known as the ghosts of the forest because they are so rarely seen. And then those light brown antelope on the left, those are greater kudu. They can weigh as much as 750 pounds fully grown. Minutes at a time, which they'll do even while sleeping underwater. Every eight minutes while sleeping, their bodies will naturally rise to the surface. Take a gulp of that fresh air. They go back bomb. They're also cold-blooded animals. They do have that extra hindrance of having to regulate their own body temperature. Which they'll do in a couple of ways. Which they will use to crush the bones of their prey in order to access and ingest the bone marrow on. Now, right up here on the left, there's a very large antelope. This is a Patterson's eland. The eland is the largest of the antelope species, with the male Patterson's eland becoming as tall as six feet tall at just their shoulder. That's not included as far in front of themselves as 13 feet forward in a single bound. They're very talented jumpers as well. They got to be that cute and adorable their entire lives. Yeah, I'm here to remember because they are so very tall. They will reach heights of 18 to 20 feet tall. And even a newborn giraffe is born about 6 feet tall, so it is likely that a newborn giraffe is still taller than most of the people in the truck right now. They also only sleep for about 30 minutes a day. They'll do so either standing up or sitting down. You will almost never see a giraffe lie completely down and rest that neck on the ground. That would put them in their most vulnerable position. 
They'd be giving up that vantage point that they're very long max provide them with. They also have very high blood pressure. Makes sense when you look at them as they do have to pump blood vertically up those long necks of theirs. Fortunately for them, they also have very large hearts. And a giraffe heart can weigh as much as 25 pounds all by itself. African elephant because we are in Africa. But in case you ever forget what continent you're on, you can always look at those ears that they have as well. African elephant ears are going to look just like that continent of Africa itself. And if you look over on the left, up on top of those pink rocks, you're going to see that fallen tree. And right among the reserve, those, they're likely the only domesticated animals we will see out here today. Oh, and don't worry, those huge horns that they have are not solid. Instead, they're a honeycomb pattern on the inside. They tend to be at night. That's because it is cooler at night, as well as because during the day, their eyesight's about the same as a human's. But at night, their night vision is six times and pretty much silently. Helps them to sneak up on their prey when they need to. Now over on the right, you are going to see those furry brown animals. Those are water buck. We'll get to them in a moment, but also if you look all the way pretty much as far as you can go to the right, you're going to see a couple of legs sticking out of the bushes. Them to find and locate one another as they can recognize that scent from far away. You're also going to see that white oh, rhino God, God, God. turned around coming this way, in case you didn't believe me. Had to look. And down on the right, you're also going to see those ostrich eggs. You can tell that they're ostrich eggs because of how large they are. The ostrich egg is the largest of the bird eggs. 